The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 98, NASDAQ is up 44, S&P is up 7.5, gold contract flat, 18.55 an ounce. You get silver up 17 cents, $25.66 an ounce, light sweet crude, also flat, $52.72 a barrel, notes and bonds. You get the 10-year uh, right now, flat, 137, 30-year up 2 at 170.01, and King Dollar. King Dollar is down 223 ticks, trading 90.170. The euro is out here trading at uh, 121. The yen is at 103.58. And the British pound is at 131 to 1 U.S. dollar. Tom O'Brien, what's going on? And we got Microsoft at all-time highs coming into their earnings tonight with everything else. Fed meeting today, uh, but pretty interesting. Some of these tech stocks, man, coming into the big week they have. Microsoft, all-time highs today, waiting for their numbers after the bell tonight. And as our man Kevin Hinks would say, it's the most wonderful time of the year. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks, right now. And don't forget, folks, every trading day right here, outstanding program, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. You want to understand the option market? Strat option strategies, futures, you're sitting on the website, hit the Think or Swim banner, bring it up. You haven't, if you haven't test-driven the platform, outstanding platform. Kevin Hanks, first off, belated happy birthday, man. Thank you very much, guys. You know, I was lucky enough to spend a little time in, well, what I like to call O'Brienville, which yes. is sunny Florida, enjoying some nice weather, and I guarantee... We guarantee nothing in this business, guys, but I guarantee you are having better weather today than the Chicago area. I know, and I wish it, I wish it, it had been a, snowballs here. Oh, snowballs. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm not right. betting yeah. against that one. I, I'm with you, Kevin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just, you know, so, I, I know. I wish it was a little bit better. You got, you got plenty of sun, though, right? I mean, it, it turned oh, a little, had, right? We had a beautiful yeah. week and a half in beautiful. Florida. Right. Awesome. Hey, let me ask you, I, Tommy and I got a technical question. You know, since you just came back, okay, well, you never left, okay, we know that. Right. But they've been running these stocks beyond belief, okay? And, and some of these that shouldn't be getting run, like GameStop, right? Let me ask sure. you something, right? We, we were looking at the options on GameStop, right? And I know you, you, up, you're an option market maker, or GE and, sure. you know, uh, Coke, no, oh, oh, the chip maker, yeah, Pepsi, Pepsi, right? Okay. Right. So what happens, Kevin, like we were looking at, what happens, I buy a spread, okay? And then how does the market maker cover himself on this? I mean, because it's like, it's going like bonkers. Yes. It's a great question. And it's, it's a problem, okay. frankly, for the market makers, because let's put it this way. Right now, the January 29th expiration, right? Y yep. The... Hundred dollar call are trading fifteen dollars. The hundred and that's three days to go. The right. hundred and fifty dollar calls are trading between six dollars, right around six and a half dollars. How do you hedge that? Right. If you're if someone comes in and buys a hundred of those from me, yes. right? Well, the delta is twenty six. So how do I hedge it? If I buy stock, I'm going to get freight trained. Right. If it's wrong. So here's what you do. From a trading perspective, you got to hedge options against other options. Okay. Then you can at least have apples and apples. Because right. put it this way, if you if I sell 100 calls and buy 2,600 shares of stock, yeah. right, that premium in those calls aren't going to last me very long if this stock heads back to 20 bucks, Right. I'm going to lose a fortune because I'm, I'm exposed. I'm naked, short. I'm, I'm naked long the stock after a couple bucks. So you have to hedge options with options. Like if I sell those 150 calls, I try to buy the 140s, or I try to buy the 160s and turn it into a short call spread that then I can hedge with some other. So it, the key is to, to trade deltas against other deltas. 
I and see. not trade stock against everything. That's the the right way to trade something like this. You've got to have apples versus apples to control your overall risk, guys. Yeah, that's freaking awesome, man. That's, you know, I, it, it, Tommy and I were scratching our head yesterday, man. We're saying, like, because we were just bringing them up, like, looking at them, like, look at this. I mean, the spreads yep. were like crazy, man. It's like we're trying to figure out, like, okay, how does this work, man? That's, that's, a, that's a great explanation, Kevin, because just like you say, I mean, some of these implied moves, I know you know, but just even even you go out to February, which is 24 days, the expected move is $99.70, and the stock's trading at $88. Yeah, now that, that, right? now that could be tricky with the stock trading $88, right? If it moves $110 <laughs> out till February 26th. Well, Amazing. on the downside, what does that give you? So, the, you know, all that does, all the implied volatility and the expected move does is measure the implied volatility and give you an expected move. That's proving mathematically that this is an absurd move. But, guys, I can tell you, this is not the first one of these ever. Right. Oh, right? for sure. For yeah. sure. So the media is making it like this is the first time this has ever happened. And that's just simply not the case. No. So yeah. you've got no. to stick to your fundamentals, trade options versus options, so you don't get caught in a, in a contr not controlling your risk. If you trade stock versus options here, you're not controlling your risk. No number one, you can't borrow the stock. So right. if you were to sell 100 puts, Right, you can't short the stock against it, or right. your stock will get called in. So you've got to trade other puts against those short puts. You got to love this. Yes. So that, that's uh, thank you so much, man. Seriously, no, no problem. And uh, so Great now, question. after uh, th what a big week we got, right? I mean, you know, Microsoft oh. this afternoon, the Fed right. meeting. Um, what right. are we looking at this week, Kevin, on the program today? Well, today we're going to trade AMD. Yeah. Starbucks and Microsoft. Oh, nice. So, nice. Three big names, all with earnings. And, and we're not even, you know, getting to everything we need to. But these are the three biggest names today that we're looking at. You know, 13 Dow stocks come out this week with earnings. Five today, four before the opening today, Microsoft after the bell. So with the economic data coming out, you got big economic data numbers coming out this week. You've got a Fed meeting, which... I don't think, obviously, the Fed won't say anything in terms of movement and interest rates, but you know they're going to grill him, Tom, on tapering. Oh, yeah. And, and, and they're going to ask him, and they're going to, you know, he's going to have to answer some difficult questions that could absolutely move this market. Yeah, all so, this. And then you've got a boatload of earnings, and not just earnings, you've got big names this week. Yeah. So they're, they're, it, it, it's trader overload right now. You've got too many things to look at, too many decisions to make. But it's it's why I love this time of year, even on a snowy day in Chicago. I, I'm still, with you. Well, at least the, 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 the difference is when you got some of that good vitamin D in you now, that'll take That's care of right. for at least a you know, couple of weeks. OK, the bottom line is that uh, and before you know it, you'll be into spring up there. You know, I'll tell. Uh, I, it's, it's just nice to feel sun on your skin. There's no sun in the forecast anytime soon in Chicago today, <laughs> but uh, lots oh. and lots of snow. But. We trade on, guys. It's too it's too big of a week for trading to get depressed about a little while. Oh, there's no doubt. There's no doubt. Kevin, you have a great one. Safe one, folks. Uh, right here, 45 minutes from now. Kevin, we look forward to the show. Thanks for having me on, guys. Thank you. Great to have Thanks, you back. Sam. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now uh, up 19. NASDAQ's down 6. S&P's are off 1.5. Tommy and I are coming right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Hey there, I'm Andy Arbertine with Tiger Precious Metals and Stones. Whether you're looking to buy and sell precious metals or trying to find the perfect diamond ring, I'm here to help. I have over 15 years of experience with diamonds and precious metals. You can call me directly at 727-329-8245 and I will personally answer any questions you have and help you find exactly what you're looking for. I will be your personal concierge in the metal and stone business. Give me a call today, 727-329-8245. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, up 26. You got the NASDAQ uh, up 7, S&P's the flat. And uh, we get a big week, Tom. Oh, I mean, there's probably, when you were saying to uh, Mr. Kevin Hicks, you know, most wonderful time of the year, I was thinking this is probably the most wonderful week of the year, like he was talking yes. about. Today alone, what one out of six Dow companies is reporting, when you put it five companies, I think he said, we get 13 this week. We get 100 plus S&P companies. And we get almost the biggest, well, we do get the biggest of them all, Apple. You know, two point five almost trillion dollar company um, tomorrow. Tesla, Facebook tomorrow. Microsoft kicks it off today. We got Microsoft at all time highs. Interesting to add that to the scenario. I and know. then you have a Fed meeting, and you have which we didn't even touch on because, like Kevin says, we almost don't have enough time to fourth quarter GDP on Thursday. After all of that, so when you think about it, before the market opens on Thursday, between two o'clock in the afternoon on Wednesday to eight thirty in the morning on Thursday. We're going to get a Fed press conference. We're going to get Apple, Tesla, and Facebook, and we're going to get the fourth quarter GDP reading all within from 2 p.m. Wednesday to Thursday at 8.30 in the morning. And we're at highs. Yes. Yeah, pretty intense. It is. And I, I heard you this morning with uh, Elon Musk and Etsy. It's pretty, pretty wild. <laughs> one, one word for, uh, is it a dog hat he got? He got a dog hat on Etsy, I believe. Um, Something like that, man. Yeah. He is, uh, so first tweet was at 6.30 this morning. I kind of love Etsy was all it was and then i guess he added a follow-up post that he had bought a hand-knit wool marvin the martian maybe that's supposed to be hat or helmet says uh for his dog and posted a picture of it nonetheless uh did it give it all back yet it was close 1.3 percent it's positive now but it's 15 bucks off of where it was it was up almost nine percent man um at one point and gamestop right now up six percent but man that thing already given up 20 percent from its highs oh yeah uh, Great explanation from Kevin, man, because like we, you know, you and I were having that conversation yesterday saying, man, how do because we know people are in this market trading options. Right. And we know the short interest is absurd. And we know that the stock traded a hundred dollars almost from the high to the low yesterday. And it was just great to get, you know, uh, an option market makers take on what exactly is going on when you're a market maker in that type of a move, man, in some of these equities. And boy, you want to. 
I mean, they're probably taking a few Tylenol, a few Advil, man, for uh, for their days of stress when you're trying well, to manage it. Well, there's no it. doubt because he was showing us that you go from the option that they're selling or buying to sure. the other option to yes. to bring it down. And then you still got to do something with that spread there you're on. Sure. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> and it is, it, it's it's so interesting, man, when like you look at things in, in a normal world, right? In terms of, you know, you have the, the delta of a stock um, and like right now. So I'm just pulling up the same thing. So Kevin, you know, even let's, let's go out to the Februarys of GameStop just for a quick example, right? Um, you're going out to like the, the 150s, he was saying even. Um, is that right? GameStop call? Yeah, they're trading it. Is that 16 or $17 going out 24 days? Now, they have a delta of 46 cents, which is wild, man. Now, normally, you know, you could be a market maker um, and you just have to own basically 46% of the shares, right? Right. Or, or sell them. Or, you know, that's the exposure that you need to have because that's the price of the options going to be moving for right. every dollar of the underlying. Yes. Well, what happens is as the stock keeps getting closer and closer to that price, then you normally you'd have the market maker. They have to actually increase their position. Right. So it's interesting how all of this accelerates everything. It works on the way up and the way down. Um, and things just got so out of whack that it's cool to see, like, they can't even do that with the equity at this point in GameStop. You got to, you know, they're using the delta of options similar to it on another level, which was great to get his take. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. Let's yeah. take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here. And more than likely, uh, even a couple of our tigers in the den yesterday who says AMC is going to probably be the next one that will run. It's up 40 cents now. It, it, the, the shot position is not that big in it, actually. Uh, okay. It, when I looked at it, well, well it's big, but not It was like, just at $2, right? Not How like these saying? stocks that are running. Yeah, it's still only 13.7%, yeah. you know, okay. compared to, yeah. you know, 35, 65%. Sure. You got, um, you know, Apple's down 59 cents. You got uh, GameStop, of course, we just talked about. That's up 8 bucks. Um, Beyond How Meat. About, oh, Beyond yeah. Meat. Yeah, so... So what's the deal here with Beyond Meat? They did a deal with who? Pepsi. Speaking Pepsi. of uh, okay. one of the stocks, uh, Kevin was the, the market maker in. So Pepsi's up three tenths percent, but Beyond Meat, they're going to be teaming up for plant-based snacks and beverages. And I was joking on my show, man. What's a, what's a plant-based beverage? Do they have meat-based beverages? Um, Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Either right. way, I don't know. I'm the, it's kind of serious, you know, but that's the headline they put out, man. Now, you were up to 221 at one point today. You're back down to 196. Um, now, what's in, so interesting here, I was talking about my program, man. You put this thing all the way back. It almost made it up to the all-time high of 239, which is all the way back uh, in July of 2019. Um, outside of that one- to two-week period, that was an all-time high this right. morning for beyond. Um, but we, we've seen the swings this thing can have, man. And when you start talking about, I mean, the fundamental, we're talking about a valuation here for a company that's now at $12.4 billion. Um, you know, if, if, if they keep growing like they do, but man, they're, they're going to have some competition, um, like we've been talking about, but Hey, they've, we'll see. That's a big deal. I'm sure for that company and the stock reacting up 24%. Yeah. No doubt. Let's go check out uh here we go so VA, vir biotechnology operate clinic uh, stage immunology yeah. company okay so the low is 16 dollars the high is 75. this is an is this another one they're just running yeah it is <laughs> oh well, it's, it's an eight billion dollar company man so they might have something even at even without today's pop they would have been like what a six billion dollar company with no earnings so something's going on there look at this man this is something else, man. It really is. Uh, oh, well, there you go. This is data from ongoing phase one uh, trial. Anytime uh, these biotechs announce uh, data from a trial, that'll, that'll move it one way or the other. They said Monday, initial data from its ongoing early stage study showed potential of an uh, investigational VR3434 antibody against chronic hepatitis B virus. There you go. Okay. We got, we got to get up on the uh biotech uh language here <laughs> in a quick uh, way man seriously and how about the cannabis stocks man yeah um, they're going bonkers and i'm not exactly sure why there's a few headlines for each company um they've paired some of the gains but you got canopy up almost seven percent i saw some press release to them talking about martha stewart and their brand that was kind of already out there tilray is up 10 11 percent um yeah, this they're gonna, canopy's another ABC up. You only need you need seven point four million, seven point eight million shares. You get four point five. So, 
You got to run here, man. That's, uh, that's quite a bar 36, on that chart. Yeah, 36 and 12. Tw Let me do it this way. I'm going to do it from the gap instead of the bottom. So sure. what happens here, folks, is that you really should use, if you want to stay the most conservative, use the gap as a swing point. So I'll use 27 going up to still 35. You still got eight bucks. That gets you eight. That gets you 40 bucks, man. 40 bucks. How about and it? Let's see what's here. Yeah, now, now you're getting into the this real, Definitely. yeah, see, and Canopy has a high volume high, man, at 59. Pretty amazing, man. It's going. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 44. NASDAQ's up 16. S&P's a flat. We'll come right back. folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates to my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 66. You got the Nasdaq up 21. S&P is up three and a half. And uh, Tom, we're going to go over <laughs> to uh, a an equity that you got. Uh, uh, is it Pointnoy? Is that his name? Pointnoy. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I go ahead. Yes. So uh, from Barstool Sports. Yes. <laughs> oh man, this is this is just a whole different uh, ball game that we, we're basically 
sure. God it's, stepped it's into here. It's a brave here. new world. That's it right. is. So this equity here, folks, okay, they manufacture, sell stereo headphones, audio speakers. Um, they have revenue of... Uh, looks like 18 million last year they lose money um bottom line uh and this is this is a, this is the classic one this is what people are looking for you get you got the, a float um of 590 million you got a 16 percent shot position and uh <laughs> this stock in two days let me just see this thing this is crazy man but this is how it works this yeah this is how it works i don't know if this is how it works but so it is how it works it, today. It, yeah. So Friday, Friday, the stock was at three dollars and twenty one cents. It hit thirteen ninety today. And did, how about how about the volume on Friday? Can you just take back? I think it was one hundred thousand shares, one hundred and twenty two thousand shares. And we're, we're pushing 20 million plus today. There's say. Wow. You, you, you're the volume guy, man. If it's got a hundred thousand shares at three dollars and then all of a sudden 20 million um, yeah. shares want to get traded. Where's it going to go? Right. Yep. That's and yeah, twenty million here. Let's I, do this. I, I kid in just a little, but oh, no. not really. Yeah, because I, it's, listen. you know it's it's. Oh, you there know, as it long is. As I you knew something was wrong. No, it, it, the, the, the 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 floats only that the floats only seven point four million shares. Yeah, I knew that was. I was saying to myself, oh, the five hundred ninety million. That doesn't that doesn't make so, any sense. And that's really the shares out. Standing is seven point four, but the total floats really only three point six, yeah. which would be oh, the tradable God. kind of. Really. Yeah. So, you know, there's not enough shares to accommodate 20 million people that want to buy, man, and, and watch out. But, yeah, this is the, and the, the thing that really, to watch out, the market cap after this acceleration is only $78 million. So you're talking about a company that was only valued at $20, 30000000 million on Tuesday. Right. Um, yeah. Wow. And then <laughs> there's, so yesterday, this is also on Reddit. And so the, these these sites, I read a program this morning, folks. I mean, I read a, an article this morning. I, I think it was about, it might have been a Reddit too. I mean, they're, they're getting the amount of uh, folks that are going on these is like going up 25 to 30 percent a month. A I month. think I'm going to have to pull up the, those those boards just to have on my radar, man. It's the truth. That's, that's yeah. like, okay, man, you know, and yeah. I think I I think I saw something about that that board um, and Reddit talks about everything, man. You know what I mean? They really talk about everything. It's just this is like the one area that's talking stocks. And I think it has two million plus people on that Wall Street bets or whatever it's called. The yeah, forum. it's Wall Street that, bets. Right. Yeah. I think it's two million plus um, users in that forum. So everyone's just got to buy 10 shares, man. And, and that's what happens to cost today. Yeah. Wow. That's, you know, it's in 10 shares of a company that's at six dollars. You talk, it's you got two million traders, man, thinking the same mentality. Watch out. Yeah. And so it, the correlation, like I was trying to think about it yesterday was I was on the air because this really is just beginning. And the last time that this happened, I'm trying to remember whether it went on for like a year, year and a half. I mean, it went on for a long period of time. This, it, it didn't just like disappear, you know, because it had different parts of it. Do you know what I'm saying? Like uh, they had a the guy on CNBC, he would come out with a stock every day, I think at like 11.40 a.m. or 11.40. segment. I yeah, 11.45. Yeah. And well, you saw it. You saw all the, remember, you were in the trading room, like that's, all the traders, we're waiting there. Like, what is he going to say? And you just be hitting the button, folks. You'd only be in that stock for like 30 seconds. You just wanted to be the first one in, right? Yeah. And like the, one of the first people out. You just and, catch because that's the worry, man. You got to be, that's, right. you know, you don't want to be the last one out. That's for sure. No, I know. It's the same thing. Spike it up. Be back yeah. down three hours later. These ones and are a little bit different, no doubt about that. They are. Yeah. Didn't he get investigated? That guy. Oh yeah, yeah. SEC he got doing he, all he, that. Yeah, he, know. he got in trouble. He, yeah. mean, he was he was basically. It's, yeah. It's, it, yeah. It's a fine line in the markets in terms of. Um, Dan Dorfman, thank you, man. Okay. Yeah, Dan nice. Dorfman. Yeah. You right. can't manipulate markets, right? That is not right. legal. Right. Um, but it's a fine line because you're allowed to say what you're buying and what you're selling and why you're doing it. Um, oh yeah, so, oh, so it's yeah. a fine line. Right. It is, and, yeah. and 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 good luck trying to get those chat rooms, folks. Okay, that even that's close. what I mean. I don't anticipate it because, yeah. because here's the thing, right? I, I thought you know you have the short sellers out there. They're trying to lead the same revolution and get followers behind them to punish stocks they're in. 
All right, what's the difference between traders going to a, a, a you know, um, chat room and saying, hey, listen, we're long because this thing's awesome. You guys should be buying it because this thing is the future. Yeah. Well, short sellers go on CNBC and these billionaires get, get the microphone to say it's a fraud, it's a scam, everyone right. should be selling it. Right. They're just upset their own game is kind of getting used against them in a, in a, with more power behind it as far as so, you know. Oh, yeah. 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 I don't have any sympathy, really, because they're playing the same game, man. They put out reports, right? They try and build the public sentiment. Um, they try and get other people to trade on their mentality. Right. There you go. Right. Yeah, there's, there's, there's no doubt. Yeah. There's, and the, the key is, folks, okay, watch out for those retail traders, man. They'll roll right over you, man. That's, that's, that's pretty intense, man. It sure is. <laughs> it sure is, man. Uh, so let, let's go say, yeah, and, and, and as... Uh, as anyone would say, really, you know, imagine you're, you're CEO of a public company. Well, the first thing you want to do is get recognized on Robinhood, right? That, that's sure. that's a reality, you know? Yeah. It's like, you know, they can pump it up. Because what happens, folks, in any type of pump up, by the way, you know, let's say a stock's to $2, right? And it runs to 20 More than likely, it's probably not going back to 2 It's probably going back to 4 or $4.50, <laughs> I mean, I, it, it, so it's really I, wild in the context yeah. of, you know, how it, how it runs. Do you know what I mean? Then, it, then sure. it hangs there for a while, you know? Sure. Yeah. And if you, if you, you know, Elon's the, the king of it, man. He did it in a great way. Is and you, you pump up the retail traders enough to where it's not even a pump. And they just believe in everything you're doing and, and they never sell. Right. And, and it's a self-fulfilling prophecy in terms of how, I mean, the way he managed that company, man, in terms of even using the retail customers he had for deposits, right? I mean, he got so yeah. many deposits, which was basically an interest-free loan back when interest rates were not at zero. Um, a thousand, what was it, a thousand bucks a pop? And yes. he was having hundreds of thousands of people giving right. him a thousand bucks a pop. They could cancel at any time at a time when they needed cash. They were just, it's, it's, he did it the best. You know, it's tough because he's such a legend in his own right, you know, probably rightfully so. But just interesting, because I think you're right. You're going to see it a lot more, man, now that we see the power, because the key is going to be, right, you get that run. And like I said, you keep some of that run after the exuberance kind of leaves. Right. And, 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 and you get some, some hardcore followers and maybe stick with you for a while and think that it might come back up to those highs at some point. Whether it does is the question. Yeah, there, there's no doubt. And, you know, folks, there's a couple articles. Uh, if you Google, let's see, uh, paying taxes on stock trades, you're going to see basically how unsophisticated, unfortunately, you know, new traders are. Um, there was a couple quotes in there. I was reading one this morning that if you didn't take the money out of the account, you didn't have to pay taxes on it. It was like, oh, man. Okay. That, They're going to get a wake up call. That, yeah, that's uh, no doubt. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Hey there, I'm Andy Arbertine with Tiger Precious Metals and Stones. Whether you're looking to buy and sell precious metals or trying to find the perfect diamond ring, I'm here to help. I have over 15 years of experience with diamonds and precious metals. You can call me directly at 727-329-8245 and I will personally answer any questions you have and help you find exactly what you're looking for. I will be your personal concierge in the metal and stone business. Give me a call today, 727-329-8245. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com 
and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, up 51. Nasdaq's up 24. S&Ps are up 2. So let's go take a look at Microsoft, see what they're, they're, they're saying out here. So Microsoft, all-time highs today. They're going to be looking to top line $40.2 billion and $1.64. Okay. Um, look at that. You know, you know what's amazing, folks, is that if you're watching my, looking at my screen right now, these are unbelievable growth numbers over a three-year period for a company that is so big man it's like wow i agree and even when you look at you know three or six years which is a long time in investing world but my goodness man just on that that you know from 2017 to 2022 they go from 96 billion to 175 billion in revenue Seriously. Um, and more than doubling their profit in that same time per right. share amazing right I mean, it, it is. That's yeah. And there, so their one day expected move, I got up on them on the Thinkorswim platform, about $10 right now. So just more than 4% in either direction. $10, uh, huh? Ooh. 988 to be exact, they'll be looking for on those numbers. And if you take it all the way to Friday, now that's just the one day. Okay. Friday's 1160, an extra dollar if you want to carry it through uh, to Friday. But basically $10 either, uh, in either direction on their numbers tonight, the market pricing in for options. And what it looks like, you know, at this time in the marketplace, it's going to be interesting. I mean, it's taken out its high. Um, you know, like, now the high, when we failed, that, that high there had uh, 34 million shares. It was testing, though, the 57 million. And then when it failed, it went from 236 uh, straight down to like one, what is that, 186, man, the bottom of the consolidation. So this is going to be pretty wild, listening to, seeing how this whole thing shakes out. Let me just put this, I'm going to put this on, I'll put a two-year weekly. Yeah, look at the size of that consolidation. Wow, man. It'll be interesting, man. Yeah. I mean, the cloud, of course, their Azure cloud. Um, yeah. Be interesting to see what they talk about, especially in light of just IBM missing in dramatic fashion last week. Can't even grow their cloud sector over at IBM when they're number three to Microsoft and to Amazon. But... We'll see. We'll see how they come up. But I imagine it's going to be strong numbers. It better be, man, because the market's pricing in. It's at all-time highs today. This is one of those deals where it's like, you know, if you're trading Microsoft here and they crush it in numbers, you know, is everyone going to say, well, of course they crushed it in numbers. We were just trading at 213 yes. um, seven days ago, and we're trading at 233, and we're at all-time highs that have never been traded before. Of course we're trading. You know, that's the best earnings we've ever seen. The stock's right. never seen a price of 233 before prior to today. And but the other side of that is I have my chart up here. This consolidation is pretty well defined, man. From about 200 up to basically 230, and we're we're, we're above that level coming into earnings. Oof. Hey, what was the one you, you were doing? I, I just missed the beginning of it. You were doing a, a channel line. Was it the S and P this morning? We were doing the channel. That was line? the S and P. Yes. So how long was that back? I got to see that because that was a daily. That was a daily. 
and it's interesting I was playing with it. I mean, you know, it's an art, not a science, right? Yeah. So here's and here it is. So even I have it up on the spy. Okay. okay so yeah. depending on where you put these lines, man, things can vary right. a lot. That's right. No matter yeah. no matter what, we're in an uptrend channel, okay, folks. Yeah. <laughs> um, but just, you know, playing around so I'm going to just show real quick in terms of where even this could be, because if you're lining this up maybe on a couple and it, it gets dicey when you go so low, you know what I mean? Is that the right. real low you're going to start the trend from? Right. But if you started even, you know, right here and you, this is this is really where I would put my channel right here is that you might be bumping up to the upper end there. OK, right. Yes. No. And, and you know, this, let's see the the Bible, I forget the of technical analysis what was that book I, I oh my god i forget the book right now but there are, anyway he was saying in the aspect that the, the, you want to be able to basically hit three yes. good lines okay you know on both sides uh but that's intriguing man because you know I, i'm looking at this week i'm saying to myself okay everything's coming out this week you know i mean we we know we're in bubblicious land Oh, and, for sure. And the kicker, folks, okay, if you weren't around in 1999, you you got to get this through your head. Bubblicious Land lasted a good almost full year, well, maybe over a year, you know, before this thing imploded, okay? We had trade, like, see all these that are bouncing around like this now? I believe that was almost at the beginning of 1999 that that really started, you know, because I remember okay. it so well. I mean, you've heard me talk about, oh, thank you, Mia. Yeah, Tickle Analysis of Stock Trends. That, that was the, that's the name of that book. It's a great book, by the way, folks, if you, you know, want to really get into all the different Tickle Analysis. Um, but I just remember so well, you know, I couldn't handle walking, uh, basically having overnight positions. I'd walk into work, man, and, like, you know, people say, what's wrong with you, man? I'm up 30, 40,000. I'd look at them like, what? Like, how does that work, man? Do you know what I mean? Well, of course... If you're holding, at that time, if you're holding Cisco overnight or AOL overnight or iOmega was the first one, go bottom line, everything would, you know, basically gap up 10, 15 percent in the morning. Um, but that lasted a very long time. That, that, that was not, you know, uh, people, <laughs> plenty of yeah. people got hurt. Uh, and and how about I was just saying how about over in Europe, man? Big numbers over in Europe coming into today with the DAX up like two percent, the CAC roll up one point four percent. At the same time, you had Asia getting hit pretty hard last night to the yeah. negative side. Doesn't usually happen like that, right? Where it's such a divergence in such a big. I mean, the Hang Seng was down two point five percent, Shanghai was down one point five percent, and you have Europe just uh, just up in a big way. No, and you want to watch that Hang Seng, folks? Okay, that was the first one to break out. And the bottom line, if there's going to be trouble, um, you know, I suspect that's where it will basically show up first. Let me pull this back because this was a monster breakout. And look at this. So it's, let's see, how, what year is that? Oh, it's 2018. That's uh, not, yeah. yeah. It's trying to get over this 2018 number. And, you know, it had the juice. Um, and then if this gives it up... <laughs> Then I think that's going to be a heads up for all the markets, you know. I mean, I kind of, you know, I really want to, I, I, I'd say everyone probably wants to figure out what are they going to, how are they going to teach this uh, in universities. I don't think it can be taught, you know. It's like you, you, you get a great university, they're teaching you fundamentals, and you, you, you wake up in the morning and someone run, runs your stock and you're shot the stock. Uh, uh, you, you get the gist of it, right? I mean, it's, yeah. Hey, shorting's a dicey game, man. You know, as, oh, as yeah. in this, it's created to borrow shares, to have negative exposure. I mean, really, the stock market was created to... To, to provide capital to businesses, right? To provide, I mean, you don't have the, you do have, you don't have the ability to short small businesses, even though you have small businesses that have shares for ownership, because that's just, it's just not something that happens. Yes. Um, so we've kind of just, you know, the, the U.S. economy is so heavily reliant on financial services, right? They can, they can, you know, put anything into a financial interest instrument for you. Oh, yeah. And, you know, you, it, like we talk about many times, man, it's a gambling business, man. And that's one of the, the risks that's in there when you're shorting a stock. You, you've contrived a, an, an economic trade that, that has some vulnerabilities when you're, you're taking a loan of shares that you don't have complete control over. You're at the whim of a variable that you don't control. And 
We're seeing that play out, man. Exactly. I like that setup, Tom. Etsy, that, that Etsy's like negative setup. for the yeah. day now. It but is. no, it's the truth. You know, you're no, but that's a variable. Sure. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tom and I come right back. Back in the day, I joined the Hotel California in 2006, and like many of you, was run in by, Bam! as well as, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us, and Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that'll take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the newsletter tab. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. The printing presses are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The US deficit has risen 200% in one year with no end in sight. The markets are looking for an additional stimulus bill to get us through this once in a generation pandemic. There is no free lunch, folks. The more stimulus dollars put into the marketplace, the less your dollar is worth each and every day. This is the time to protect yourself with a portion of your portfolio in the metal market. The Gold Report comes out each Monday morning. I bisect and dissect the dollar. Silver, gold, the XAU, and the HUI. The Gold Report is a long-term hedge against the dilution of your buying power. The U.S. has put more than $6 trillion into the marketplace in the last six months, with more expected in the next few months. The market did and does need the stimulus, but it will have long-term implications on our buying power. The Gold Report comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Go to TFNN.com and order the Gold Report now. Protect your buying power. Order the Gold Report now. With markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets, this is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the direction of the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover, and essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 33. Nasdaq's up 32. S&Ps are up 2. And uh, let's just go inside that Dow quick and see what we have moving here. So Johnson & Johnson is the mover. 32 points. Microsoft 30, 29. 3M 29. Honeywell 13. Taken away from it. American Express minus 23. Home Depot minus 13. And Disney minus 12. Oh. And what's interesting there is just as uh, Johnson and Johnson had earnings, 3M had earnings, and American Express had earnings. So you're seeing them. Yeah, and if we go over to D.H. Horton, the Quirk, uh, they had earnings too. And uh, okay, I, and that, look, they just sold it down. This is interesting. Uh, so it was up at 83. Look at this, my God, this is up at 83. That was quick. Yeah, and th these were monster numbers, man. Check this okay. out. This is uh, especially the backlog. So the estimate was a dollar seventy-one. Um, let's see. Yeah, two fourteen. Yeah, and net orders they were expecting nineteen percent, uh, no twenty eight percent, fifty six percent. 
revenue. I mean, everything's up. The, the biggest one I see right here, and this is where, you know, if you're into this, folks, okay, the, the, the bottom line, this is the one to pay attention, the backlog. That's a beautiful backlog, man. They were expecting yeah. a backlog of $4.3 billion. Uh, uh, well, that's... They were expecting 7.4. Oh, 7, oh, I see. Okay. Uh, 8.93. Big number. Still, that's, 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 that's $1.5 billion extra than what the market was even thinking about. And they're negative today. They're, they're, they're negative. They get, they get up there. Let me just see what this high is. 80, that's an all-time high. I just yeah, checked it. I okay. was curious, too. All-time yep. high. So you're going to watch out. It's still going to consolidate. Yeah. It was just at $63, man, January 6th. And that's, so, that's you, what you're talking about. What are you going to do for me now? Exactly. You, run you it just up. went from 63 to 83. You're at 78. You're up $15 since January 6th, man. Exactly. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Think of Swim coming up next. NMM, Mr. Bowser Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Look at him.